Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the question of IMET math. This session, come to question number fifty-five. Question is: What is the equation of straight line which passes through minus six comma two and is perpendicular to four y plus three x is equals to eight? And we have these five options. Now come to solution of this question. That is, let equation of a line is y is equals to m one x plus c one. And in this equation. This m1 represent slope of the line. Now in this question we have given that this line passes through this point that is minus six comma two, and also given that uh, this line is perpendicular to this line that is perpendicular to four y plus three x is equals to eight. This can be written as y plus three upon four x is equals to two. That is also written as y equals to minus three upon four. X plus two. Now in this line, slope of this line is equals to that is m two is equals to minus three upon four. Now come to further explanation. As we know that if uh, y is equals to m one x plus c one and y is equals to m two x plus c two be two equation of line and this line are perpendicular to each other if and only if m one into m two is equals to minus one. But in our case. M one into M two is equals to minus three upon four. That is M one into minus three upon four is equals to minus one because these two lines are perpendicular. This implies that M one is equals to four upon three. This uh, this implies that the equation of this line is equals to y equals to M one x plus c one. Here M one is equals to four upon three. That is y equals to four upon three x plus c one. In this question. We have given that uh, this line, that is uh, y is equals to m one x plus c one, passes through this point. In mathematics, this implies that uh, this point satisfy this equation. That is, if this point satisfy this equation, this coordinate work as x and this coordinate work as y. That is, this implies that y is y is equals to two equals to four upon three. X is equals to minus six. This implies that two is equals to four upon three into minus six plus c one. This implies that two is equals to minus eight plus c one. That is, c one is equals to ten. Now this implies that equation of line become y is equals to m one x plus c one. M one is equals to four upon three plus c one is equals to ten. That is, this line multiply this equation by three. We have three y is equals to four x plus thirty. This can be written as three y minus four x is equals to thirty. Three y minus four x is equals to thirty. Now come to option. This option incorrect. This incorrect. This incorrect. Now we have actually three y minus four x is equals to thirty. So this incorrect. This implies option D is correct for this question. Next question of I made. That is fifty six. In this question, we have solved the expression that is eight into ten raised to power minus five upon square root of one point six into ten raised to power seven into one point two into ten raised to power three whole power two. Uh, for this question, we have to remember some exponent rules. That is, uh, a power m whole power n is equals to a power m into n. Result second is. A power m into a power n is equals to a power n plus n. Result third is a power m upon a power n is equals to a power m minus n. Now, uh, this given question can be written as eight into ten raised to power minus five upon square root of. As we know that one point six can be written as sixteen upon ten. That is sixteen upon ten into ten raised to power seven into 1.2 written as 12 upon 10 into 10 raised to power 3 whole power 2. This implies that 8 into 10 raised to power minus 5 upon square root of this 10 cut with this implies that square root of 16 into 10 raised to power 6 into this 10 cut with this that is 12 into 10 raised to power 2 whole power 2. This implies that 8 into 10 raised to power minus 5. As you know that 16 is equals to 4 power 2. This implies that square root of 16 is equals to 4. That is, 
फोर इंटू नौ एज यू नो दैट टेन पावर सिक्स पावर वन अपॉइंट टू दिस इंप्लाइज दैट सिक्स इंटू वन अपॉइंट टू दैट इज टेन रिस्ट टू पावर थ्री दैट इज टेन रिस्ट टू पावर थ्री एंड ट्वेल्व स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल्स टू वन फोर फोर इंटू टू इंटू टेन रिस्ट टू पावर माइनस फाइव इंटू वन फोर्टी फोर इंटू दिस टेन पावर थ्री कट विद दिस दिस इंप्लाइज दैट टेन दिस इंप्लाइज दैट टू एटी एट इंटू टेन रिस्ट टू पावर माइनस फोर एक्चुअली टेन रिस्ट टू पावर फोर अपॉन टेन रिस्ट टू पावर थ्री रिटर्न एज फोर माइनस थ्री दैट इज टेन पावर वन विच इज इक्वल्स टू टेन दैट इज दिस टेन नाउ दिस इंप्लाइज दैट टू एटी एट इंटू टेन रिस्ट टू पावर माइनस फोर बट इन दिस क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन आर गिवन इन पॉइंट सो दिस इंप्लाइज दैट टू एटी एट अपॉन हंड्रेड इंटू हंड्रेड इंटू टेन रिस्ट टू पावर माइनस फोर दिस इंप्लाइज दैट टू इंटू एट एट इंटू टेन रिस्ट टू पावर माइनस टू नाउ दिस ऑप्शन इन करेक्ट दिस इन करेक्ट दिस इन करेक्ट दिस इन करेक्ट दैट इज ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन क्वेश्चन इज फोर इंडिविजुअल स्फीयर हैविंग रेडियस आर अपॉन टू आर टू आर एंड थ्री आर एंड क्वेश्चन इज वट इज द सम ऑफ देयर सर्फेस एरिया नाउ कम टू एक्सप्लेनेशन इन दिस क्वेश्चन टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ ए स्फीयर ऑफ रेडियस आर इज फोर बाई आर स्क्वेयर एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव गिवन दैट फोर स्फीयर आई लेबल दैम एस वन एस टू एस थ्री एंड एस फोर एंड देयर कोरस्पोंडिंग रेडियाई आर आर अपॉन टू आर टू आर एंड थ्री आर नाउ सम ऑफ देयर सर्फेस एरिया विल बी सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ एस वन प्लस सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ एस टू प्लस सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ एस थ्री एंड दिस दिस इंप्लाइज दैट फोर पाई इस रेडियस दैट इज आर अपॉन टू स्क्वेयर प्लस दिस सर्फेस एरिया फोर पाई इस रेडियस इज आर दैट इज आर स्क्वेयर प्लस दिस सर्फेस एरिया फोर पाई इस रेडियस इज टू आर That is two r square plus its surface area. That is four pi. Its radius is three r. That is three r square. This implies that uh, take common four pi in all four terms. That is four pi into r square upon four plus r square plus four r square plus nine r square. Uh, in this expression, this four multiply inside. That is. Pi outside into r square plus 4 r square plus 16 r square plus 36 r square. After this sum, it implies 57 r square. And pi outside that is 57 pi r square is sum of their total surface area. Now come to options. Option A incorrect. Option B incorrect. Option D incorrect. And E incorrect. That is option C is correct. To question 58. In this question, we have given that uh, a computer game is on sale of Euro thirty two, and the price ticket shows that this cost is a reduction of twenty percent of the original price. That is, uh, this price ticket implies MRP, and a reduction of twenty percent of the original price means twenty percent discount. Actually, for this question, I used Direct result that is uh, for sale price I labeled SP and for marketing rate price I labeled MRP. Also note that uh, in this question original price means simply marketing rate price that is OP. And recall that uh, discount is always calculated on MRP. Now in given question sale price is thirty two euro. And as we know that. Sale price always can be written as MRP minus discount on MRP. But in this question st statement, working as selling price is equals to original price minus discount on original price. This implies that uh, SP is equals to OP minus twenty percent on OP because discount is given as twenty percent. Now. Selling price is equals to thirty two because in given question is equals to OP minus twenty percent of OP means 
ट्वेंटी अपॉन हंड्रेड ऑफ ओ पी डेट इज माइनस ट्वेंटी अपॉन हंड्रेड इन टू ओ पी नाउ कम टू फर्दर एक्सप्लेनेशन दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज थर्टी टू इज इक्वल्स टू ओ पी माइनस ट्वेंटी परसेंट दैट इज ट्वेंटी अपॉन हंड्रेड इन टू ओ पी दिस ओ पी कॉमन आउट दैट इज ओ पी इन टू वन माइनस ट्वेंटी अपॉन हंड्रेड दिस इज इक्वल्स टू ओ पी इन टू वन माइनस ट्वेंटी अपॉन हंड्रेड दैट इज ट्वेंटी माइनस आई मीन्स हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी अपॉन हंड्रेड इज इक्वल्स टू एटी अपॉन हंड्रेड दैट इज ओ पी इन टू एट्टी अपॉन हंड्रेड दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट दिस जीरो कैंसिल विद दिस दैट इज ओ पी इन टू एट अपॉन टेन दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट थर्टी टू इज इक्वल्स टू ओ पी इन टू एट अपॉन टेन नाउ दिस टेन अंडर डिविजन दिस साइड अंडर मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट इज थर्टी टू इंटू टेन इज इक्वल्स टू ओ पी इंटू एट बट इन क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट ओ पी दैट इज ओ पी इज इक्वल्स टू दिस एट इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन दिस साइड अंडर डिविजन दैट इज ओ पी इज इक्वल्स टू दिस एट एट फोर दैट इज फोर इप्लाइज दैट ओ पी इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी दैट इज ओ पी इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी यूरो दैट इज ओरिजिनल प्राइज इज फोर्टी यूरो ऑप्शन ए इनकरेक्ट ऑप्शन बी इनकरेक्ट ऑप्शन सी इनकरेक्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी इनकरेक्ट एंड ऑप्शन ई इज करेक्ट